Hey guys, check this out. Cool thing happening in South Point this weekend on Saturday and on Sunday, but on Saturday, we're doing a rummage sale for, and the benefit will go toward the Kids Rock Play Yard. So listen, come hang out. I know people have brought stuff. If you need to bring things, do that. And then we'll sell those gently used items so that the kids can benefit. The money is gonna to go toward the Kids Rock Play Yard, building a play yard for the kids, not only for the church, but in Southeast Fresno. Awesome, we're doing great with it as well. So thank you so much. Also, I don't wanna to forget to tell you that Change for Babies, we're doing something for the Pregnancy Care Center where we raise, we're raising money in baby bottles. So come get one on Sunday this uh, weekend and save your change. It'll make an impact in the lives of people for the future. It's an awesome thing. So join with us with that. I don't want to forget to tell you about the Fresno Clovis Prayer Breakfast. It's one of the biggest events really with city and civic leaders, uh, ministry leaders as well that the Valley has. This uh, year, it's gonna be on May 25th, which is a Tuesday, you can sign up. We'll have a link under this page and on our website. Sign up, I just wanna encourage you, especially this year to go, Ann Graham Lots, the daughter of Billy Graham is gonna be there. And I believe it'll be a blessing, not only that we would hear her, but there would be a unification in this time. Not only us as Christian people, the Church of Jesus Christ, but that we would stand together in this season for our city, our state, and our country, and the world for the Lord. It's an important moment. So I just want to encourage you to sign up. You do that at southpointchurch.com. This weekend is part two of me having a heart-to-heart -heart discussion with you. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 11 says, It's in Christ that we find out who we are. Think about that. It's in Christ. People try to find out who they are everywhere else, but Jesus has a plan for you and I. It's, it's in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. And my challenge to you this week is read Ephesians as we're teaching you the book of Ephesians. Read Ephesians chapter 1 and chapter 2, and I'll see you on Sunday.